It's something we see every summer. Firefighters coming to the rescue, helping a hiker in distress. A lot of people probably overestimate their ability, uh, which is really easy to do, and you don't think that this is that far. And uh, before you know it, you're kind of wiped out and need help. Signs are posted on Phoenix Mountain Trails urging hikers to take extra precautions when temperatures climb over 100. But it's not enough to prevent all the medical emergencies we see this time every year. I jog four and a half miles pretty regularly and it was not what I was expecting. <laughs> For guy, people like us that hike it all the time, it's still dangerous, but we have to pick our times and bring lots of water and hydrate. In an effort to better protect the public, the city of Phoenix now closes the hiking trails along Piestua Peak and Camelback Mountain between 11 in the morning and 5 at night, whenever the National Weather Service issues a heat warning day from May through the end of September. And there's talk now of expanding the closure time even more, possibly to 9 a.m. According to the Parks and Rec Department, there were eight mountain rescues on closure days last summer, an indication that some hikers got on a trail just before 11 in the morning, then found themselves in a dangerous situation. 9 a.m., it could be 105. We get the middle of July, it's extremely hot, heat-related emergencies. These firefighters will go up there and rescue someone that's been hiking for two and a half hours if they start at 7 a.m. So we have seen heat-related emergencies 8.30, 9.30 in the morning. Some of the hikers we spoke to are in favor of expanding the closure hours on high heat days. Others are not. Longtime Phoenix hiker Rinaldo Olstead says it's a fine line between protecting inexperienced climbers and allowing those who know what they're doing to keep coming out, even in the extreme heat. The protective side of that, I think, is great. On the other side of it, there's a lot of us that have been here forever and we're climatized and 100, 105, 110, it's really not much difference. So, you know, you're prepared for it and you come out and you do it. A recent survey by the city of Phoenix showed that a majority of hikers are in favor of the closures on extreme heat days being a little bit earlier, but I am told no changes will take place anytime soon. City officials plan to reevaluate the safety program to determine what's best for the public. Reporting live in Phoenix, Jason Berry for Arizona's family. I mean, we probably should just make a call for Monday to maybe not hike that early in the morning or, or get it done very early in the morning. Very early and, as Jason said, make sure you hydrate.